what's up you guys welcome back to another installment of random rob now as you can see we've got on a full face of makeup I've popped in some contacts and yes I am sporting a pair of rings so of course that can only mean one thing yes I'm about to hit the gym <laughs> now I know it's really weird but as you guys know it's a little bit of a tradition where I like to put on makeup before I head to the gym um, so I can kind of test it see how it wears on my face see how it applies and all of that kind of stuff then I could go ahead and wash it off right when I come back and I don't have to worry about it sitting on my face for too long now the issue with this right now is uh, when I put on this foundation initially I was one race and then about 20 minutes later, I was culturally appropriating another race and that is absolutely terrible You probably can't see it as much because I've got a little bit of a ring light helping me out here this early in the morning um, But this is one gonna be one of those ones that has just gotta go. Sorry about that However, that is not the purpose of me sitting down and chatting with you guys this morning. It is because of this this is what I wanted to really talk about this was was a uh, barbecue chicken pizza with pineapple on top, okay? Let me let me tell you before you guys get really really angry number one Pineapple belongs on pizza, but it does not belong on every pizza I don't know what it is in my head But if I see mushrooms on a pizza and they put pineapples on it, I'm a little bit like disgusted but Pineapple goes well on many different types one of them being barbecue chicken now as you can see I absolutely smashed it. I ate all of it yesterday Mainly because of the fact that I wanted to get it out of my house. I was supposed to order a small and I thought that's what I was ordering because I'd ordered from this place before but when I got it I was like, oh, I forgot. Like, because you know some pizza places their mediums are not all that big and it's kind of like the size of a small pizza and I was like, alright, well. We're gonna have to work through this tonight. Um, and I really wanted to knock it out, get it out of my house so that I don't eat it for like the rest of the week because I want to get back into ketosis. Now the reason that I wanted to chat about this was about the topic of it cheating on a diet. Now as many of you guys know I've been doing keto for a while now. I want to say it's like been six months or something like that and I've dropped 45, 46 pounds now. Well probably a little bit less after that pizza. Um, but legitimately I know some people that really beat themselves up after a cheat day and for me, number one, I don't even really like the mentality of calling it a cheat day. It's just the day that I decided to eat a pizza. <laughs> and I think taking that stigma of, I cheated, oh my god, I did something so terrible. I'm like, it's a pizza. Like, you ate a pizza or you ate, you know, a, a donut or you ate something that was bad for you. The, the following day, just don't. <laughs> That's all you need, that's all you need to do is like you, you had one hang up, you said you, you might have set yourself back a little bit, but in the grand scheme of things, if you look at it in the long term scheme of life, that's just one day where you decided to have a pizza. Like after that, just don't, don't have a pizza the next day. Don't have a donut the next day and then the day after that, just don't. Um, now I know I, for me like, Keto really helped me break a lot of cravings. Like I used to love, oh my God, there are these cakes that you can get from the grocery store and one of them was like a mocha cake. It was like chocolate with like mocha icing. Um, and there was also one that was a carrot cake. I love me some carrot cake. Carrot cake is delicious. Now the thing is, if I'm super duper craving any of those things, I'm not gonna stop myself from eating it, but I'm also not gonna be eating it for five days straight. I'm also not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be integrating it back into my life. But the big reason that I ate the pizza was because I had had a consistent craving for pizza for like the last week. And I find that having the pizza, knocking out the pizza, gets rid of the craving, and then I can just go back to my diet free and clear, right? Now, of course, I'm not doing this every single freaking two or three days because I know that my cravings, if my cravings last for a long period of time, then that's a genuine craving. If I have like, if I just kind of want to eat something one day, um, then that's just kind of like, oh, you just want to eat it that day. Now, if it lingers on and on and on, then maybe, you know, next week I'll go treat myself to some Taco Bell. But legitimately, as long as I know that I'm doing good with the rest of my diet, I'm not going to beat, the, the big thing is, I'm not going to beat myself up over it because I know so many people like what do I do what do I do what do I do and I'm just like you chill the fuck out and you just don't that's all that's all go back to the gym the next day you don't need to go in 
extra hard to punish yourself because that I that also I think fuels this punishment mentality <gasps> I cheated so now I must hurt myself and and that's the other thing that I really am not fond of is like when you look at diets people think of diets as punishments and I don't I think of diets as something that you're doing that's really really good for your body and really helping you out in the long term so have this kind of like positive mindset about the things you're doing Ooh, I'm killing my craving today but I'm having a little bit of pizza yeah not the best for my diet, but I'll be back on my diet tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna get on the gym today and burn off some of that pizza, not, oh, I gotta go to the gym because I ate that pizza yesterday. No, like, think of things in a positive way. Um, move forward with your diet in a positive way and that'll make things a lot more sustainable in the long run because, I don't know, I just think that you should be able to enjoy your life. If I wanna enjoy a pizza day, fantastic. If I wanna enjoy a banging body, for the next month, that means, you know, we'll get back on keto. We'll slim back down a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh, regardless, I just wanted to leave you with that thought. Um, stop thinking about this negative mindset. Stop thinking of everything being a punishment. Think of some, think of these things, whether it's cheating or whether it's being on a diet, as good things that you are doing for yourself and your soul. Anyway, I gotta get to the gym. Alrighty, so I went ahead and promised a little bit of accountability, and as you can see, we have made a decent amount of progress on the living room. Now, if I'm gonna confess, there is like a thin film of cat hair on a lot of the furniture, and that's mainly because of the fact that I give up. My cat wins, okay? Like, legitimately, this little bastard over here just loves jumping on everything and laying down. I'll even put down, like, a little blanket for him to lay down on, but no, he doesn't want the blanket. He wants to lay down on the raw furniture and get his fur all over it, and then I gotta go ahead and kind of, like, brush everything down. Now, I do have a couple bits of front, by the way. You know, this is the chaise. You guys are very familiar with that one right there. This is my ring light. Um, of course, that's a little dish of junk, as I like to put it. That's kind of like where I like to toss my keys and all that kind of stuff. You can see some collapsible sunglasses there. And here, it's a little bit of a culprit, as you can see. I actually did a bit of a, um, what do you call this? A little bit of a haul? I won't say it's a real haul because some of it was shipped and some of it was, uh, uh, was stuff that I picked up on sale from the Wet n Wild site. Oh, I'm so excited to go and dig through all of that, but you can't deny 30% off. And then at my local uh, store, 75% off, $1.24. I'm not gonna say no to that. That's fucking amazing. All right, and there is the problem child of the room, as you can see here. This is kind of like where I keep colognes and makeup and like jewelry and all of that kind of stuff. I've got some like lens care stuff there. I always put um, all of my lens stuff out here to like dry, like air dry, because you gotta make sure that you keep all of your stuff air dried and all of that. So all of my like tools are up there. I just bought some new brushes. Um, and so I just kind of have everything here and it's a little bit of a jumbled mess, but I figured I'd go ahead and sort through that um, a bit more. Ooh, you wanna see something? Dun, dun, dun. This is kind of like my contact lens collection. They are all broken down into their individual series. All right, so I think that we are looking a lot better from last night. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you, after my stream today, which was absolutely amazing, um, everything started going downhill and downhill fast. I don't know what happened, but legitimately I started looking at the footage from last night and all of the bits that I recorded, I look kind of nuts in. And I think it's because of the fact that um, natural lighting plus a little bit of artificial is the best when it comes to recording these ones. Um, remember what I was saying, like I look like a white walker in the last one? Oh my God, I looked like dead in the clip that I recorded last night. And I was like, nope, can't put that up. So we already started on a bad foot. And then I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna toss on some makeup and then I'm gonna go record and then I'll go to the gym yada 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 so I started putting on my makeup um, and then I was like oh something feels a little bit weird like it's not applying normally my skin doesn't look all that fantastic and slowly I kind of felt some tingling and as you guys know my skin is a bit sensitive and my rosacea was like triggered it was like angry my rosacea was like vicious it was like no whatever you did is bad and so so um, I'm like frustrated, I'm trying to make it work, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face off and start all over again. So I started washing my face, 
and you know everything was fine well not fine it was definitely my skin was definitely irritated underneath um and then i decided to go ahead and can go ahead and apply a new uh, a new face as i'm applying my foundation i start holding back the sniffles and i'm like oh this is really really odd um now if any of you guys are a little bit squeamish i would have you guys look away right now it's not terrible but it's not fantastic either um well as I'm applying my foundation all over my mouth, all over my face, it's done, I'm ready to put on the powders. Uh, yeah, you can see that's a nice big old splotch of blood. I started having one of my big nosebleeds. Now, I don't really, I don't share this because it's not really anything to share, but I do occasionally get nosebleeds and it's a really odd fact i don't know where they come from i don't know what triggers them um but legitimately sometimes they happen in the shower sometimes they just happen when i'm in front of the sink sometimes i'll just be sitting there and i'll get a nosebleed now it's not something that's super common it doesn't happen all the time but randomly it just pops up and i'm like oh i forgot that you were a thing welcome back it's nice to see you again <laughs> So uh, let's just say I like had a big, so my face looks a little bit off at all. It's because I had a big old uh, streak of blood running down for a while. If my eyes look a little bit bloodshot, that's probably why. Um, now, of course, I told you all of this and <laughs> told you all about my bad day to soften you up because I'm probably going to say something that's going to piss you off real soon. So, um, yeah, I don't, my whole thing, the whole reason that I'm filming this clip is because of the fact that I don't get the hype behind Halloween. I don't get the excitement behind Halloween. Halloween has never been a holiday that I've like rejoiced in. In fact, on my holiday happiness index, it's pretty fucking low. In fact, it's below Valentine's Day. Val and don't get me wrong, I, I really do like Valentine's Day. Not that I've had fantastic Valentine's Days. Like I'm not absconding with any of my ex-boyfriends to go into the Napa Valley and have some Dean and DeLucas while sipping on some champagne. No, nothing like that. They've all been kind of like bleh to mediocre. That's about as good as I get when it comes to Valentine's Days. So it's not that I've had great ones, I just feel like Halloween is overhyped for what reason? I don't know. Uh, I was actually asking a friend about this and he was like, well on Halloween you get to, you know, party and you get to have candy and you can dress sluttier than normal. I'm like... Bitch, please, you can do that on Valentine's Day. And everybody hates on Valentine's Day. Everybody's like, Valentine's Day is a made-up holiday, it's a Hallmark holiday, yada, 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 so on and so forth. I'm like, who does Halloween serve? Halloween serves all of the candy companies and that goddamn Halloween spirit costume storm that pops up every season. I'm like, listen, I don't need a special getup for Valentine's Day. Everybody spends all of these monies on costumes and stuff that you wear once a year. At least if you buy sexy lingerie for Valentine's Day, you can rewear it anytime you feel like feeling sexy or even better. Get sexy and just wear nothing. That's even cheaper. And um, you're ready at any point in time to make some magic happen, right? You can also get drunk on Valentine's Day. Get some mimosas. Go ahead and get some sangria. Get some, get some shots in you. Go have fun. Get to the bars. People are looking to hook up on Valentine's Day. Boom. Two for one. You can feel sexy. You can have a drink. And the next day, just like on Halloween, you can go ahead and get yourself some candy. And by the way, best part of Halloween and y'all can fight me on this, it's candy corn. I'm sorry, I'm like, listen, I love me some keto, but I remember the taste of that candy corn and I love it. Why does everybody hate on candy corn so much? It makes me upset. So what I'm proposing for you guys is that we just get rid of Halloween. No more Halloween. Instead, we do like a Christmas in July kind of thing, but instead it's Valentine's Day in October. So we're gonna call it Autumn Times Day. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and have candy corn. We'll have some chai lattes, maybe a little pumpkin spice in there as well. We can have some little, nice little bread bowls to celebrate the fall season weather and cuddle up with a loved one or cuddle up with yourself in private if you know what I mean, or you know, just, just be surrounded by the people that you love and care about. I don't get this whole dress up like a spooky murderer thing. Honestly, horror movies have never been my thing. It's just not that I'm scared, not that I'm freaked out. I'm just like, meh, not that interesting. Give me, give me some Marvel. 
even I'll even settle for some DC okay I will take DC over Halloween that's where we're at right now regardless I'm really curious to see what is your holiday happiness index listing go ahead and toss that in the description box below and don't forget St. Patrick's Day that's a good day that's a fun day you just got to be careful then uh, regardless that about does it for me for now um, so as always love somebody hurt nobody and touch your body. Let me know about your favorite holidays, your most hated holidays. Toss all of those in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye